mini fragrance haul time, baby. Only these are budget cheapy fragrances, which seem to be the new craze. Everybody wants super duper cheap. Social media has spoken and they only want budget fragrance options. So I picked up about three different fragrances that are super cheap. All clones, inspired expressions, whatever you feel like calling them, because I want to see if they're comparable, if they're any good, and do they hit the mark of the budget sexy vibes. I know we're all going to be tapped out from this point going forward till tax season when most of y'all get your W-2s and you get a nice fat refund, you start stealing social security numbers and claiming Mexican babies as your own. You live in Wisconsin, bitch. He's not your kid. Did the thief steal your kid's hands? So let's roll my music so we can check out three budget options and see if these cheapies are any good. Welcome to the YouTube channel that will make you laugh more than a gaggle of unicorns mating in the Serengeti. <laughs> His wealth of knowledge will make the most astute astrophysicist question. His life decisions, led by his spiritual advisors, Chuck Norris and Walter Mercado, I present to you, Mr. Kind of a Big Deal. Kind of a Big Deal. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Let's jump right into this joint. We're going to start off with one that I already opened, tried out, and wore. Now, the popularity of Ombre Nomad by Louis Vuitton is crazy. I think it's one of the best ones in the Louis Vuitton lineup. There's a ton of freshy joints that are super good, but this one has the most body, the most depth. It really lives in that niche quality and had a significant amount of hype for a minute, but it's still not cheap in the space unless you get yourself a little... Jean Lu Ombre, which is kind of tricky because that looks like the brand Lueve. I think that there's some subliminal kind of marketing tactics by the Middle Eastern swag monsters to try to get you to be like, ooh, Lueve, that kind of looks, you know, mm -hmm. it's like that old Saved by the Bell episode. If you guys are old like me, that they used um, subliminal messaging in a tape and shit like that to get dates. <laughs> Same, same. So I've already opened this fragrance, I have already worn this fragrance, and I can give you an honest interpretation about Jean Lueve. They really like took the interpretation and went hamburger. The only difference is that this has this plastic cap here, which I'm not sure if it's supposed to stay there or not. Yeah, it is. Whoops, but it's magnetic, look at that. Ooh, they spend them big money. Hold on, where the hell is it? Is it like, that's it? Oh yeah, well it's a shitty magnet, what do you want? But I'm currently wearing the fragrance and it's really close. It's about 78-ish percent close, especially for the price point. We're talking about a fragrance that's like 36, 37 dollars. 200 plus, 36, hmm. On a side-by-side -side comparison, wifey was like, I can't tell the difference, they both suck. And then I told her the price and then she was like, oh yeah, this one smells actually a lot better. Of course. Is it expensive? I don't know yet. So these two, very comparable, 78-ish percent close for like 98% off. So far, we're starting on a good note. Next one. Now, next is Exclusive to Back by Mason Alhambra. La Tafa. Now, I don't know which particular fragrance this is a clone of. I at first thought it was going to be like Dior Toba Color but I don't think so. So I don't know right off rip. So it might be a clone. It might be original interpretation. Who freaking knows? But I want to know this kind of looks like a vintage -y bottle more than anything. So I don't think it's the Dior that I thought because usually Mason Alhambra or La Tafa really copy like the actual looks of the fragrance. So I don't know what the hell this potentially is and don't know what it smells like. Don't know the notes. And I just picked it up because it's cheap as shit. It was like 25 or $22. You can go wrong with that. It could go wrong. It could go wrong. So I'm anticipating this is going to be a banger for the price. Oh, wow. Whoa, hold up. What? No, they wouldn't clone that. First of all, goose pimpies are, oh shit. Goose pimples? Bro, this, you won't believe what this is a clone of. It's gotta be, hold on. What? I don't even wanna show y'all on camera first. I'm gonna spray it off camera just to see if my nose is matching because this is a problem. It's not one-to-one, -one, but very much in the space of Triumph de Bacchus from Argos. Mason Alhambra's cloning Argos? It's in that bubble. Like that's the first thing, it smells, bam, this is, it's pretty spot on, bro, for like 20 bucks. Hey, yo. Damn, not even the small houses are safe right now. This, for me to my nose, we're talking about like 80, high 80s, close to Triumph the Bacchus from Argos. And this is 21, 22 dollars? And I got goose pimps? Oh shit, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, this can't be. 
can be. Let me do a fresh skin spray because this one blew me out of the water for the price. That is going to sell out. I, I feel it in my soul that this one's gonna sell out. Bro, boozy, smells like a cherry-ish pipe tobacco, a little dry, ambery, sexy, rich, does not smell like a synthetic mess. That is a banger. That is really good. If you like Triumph the Bacchus or you wanted to smell something similar, and I've never smelled anything like Triumph the Bacchus, so this has to be inspired by. This is very fucking good. Damn, next one. And finally, Luciano Swim, which is another Louis Vuitton clone. Now this is 34 bucks and this one is Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton. Same cap, only this one's not magnetic, which is unusual. I mean, they're clearly like, oh man, let's try this out. Nope, that don't work. All right, let's check this puppy out. I haven't tested this one either. Let's see, I don't know what, I don't remember the full Afternoon Swim fragrance, but it's gonna be a freshie, right? Mmm, I mean, straight up Lemoncello, Lemoncello Icy, San Mariano, Yellow Cup, Wooden Spoon, all the tart citruses you can think of, a little bit of vanilla just like at the base, but it's San Mariano or San Morello, whatever, the little yellow cups with the little wooden spoon that you scrape off in the summertime, you only rock this in the summertime, you sit on the stoop or on the front of your crib, you do the little scrapey scrapey, hope that you don't get a little wood splinter in your gum line, but that's... One million percent what it is. The tartness is coming down a little bit. The bergamot is coming up. There's a slight bit of sweetness coming through. You got some nice white florals, but it's citrus, sour, little yellow, icy cup. You gotta like lemons. You gotta like tarts. You gotta like that bright energy. There is no dryness here. If you would have added like a vetiver component, it would have been in the space of like an H24, but that's all it is. Lemon cello, little Mariano, little fucking wooden cup. One billion percent. Nice, fun, sweet, tart, summertime only. I just can't get past that ice cream smell. That's all it is. From these three gems, we clearly know who the winner is. Exclusive tobacco is crazy. Bro, this is very good. This is gonna be my scent of the day. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. This shit is fire. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Have you smelled that joint? Oh man. Strong number one, very solid number two, and number three. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. I'll put links in the description if you guys are interested in any of these joints. I know what I, bro, I'm telling you. Watch. Smooth. He don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk on my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>